Greetings and welcome. My name is Mark Amaro Pinkham. I am a Knight Templar and the North American Grand Prior of the International Order of Gnostic Templars. I'd like to speak to you for a moment about what we Gnostic Templars know of the secret mysteries of the Peacock Angel. The mysteries of the Peacock Angel come from a religious sect that currently resides in northern Iraq known as the Yazidis. This sect claims to have the oldest religion in the world and can trace it back at least 6,000 years. The Yazidis came to the Middle East from India around 2000 BC and then assisted in the creation of the Sumerian, Babylonian, and Assyrian civilizations before permanently settling in their present location in northern Iraq. During the time the Knights Templar were stationed in the Middle East, settlements of the Yazidis were located in both Syria and Iraq. It is possible that the Knights Templars may have learned about the Yazidis and even studied with them at that time. The Yazidis were a synthetic Sufi mystery school similar to the others that the Templars studied with during their time in the Middle East. It had become a Sufi sect under the guidance of the great Sufi adept Sheikh Adi, who reformed the Yazidis in the 11th century. The Yazidi religion revolves around a deity known as Tausi Malek, which is a name meaning peacock angel or peacock king. According to the Yazidis, the peacock angel was the leader of seven archangels that God created in order to help him create and oversee the universe. The peacock angel is thus the Yazidi counterpart of Archangel Michael, the leader of the seven archangels in the Christian tradition. The peacock angel also helped God to create humanity. He then taught the first humans how to worship and commune with God. For this reason, he is today recognized by the Yazidis as the first teacher of the spiritual path on earth. The peacock angel also brought color to the world. God instructed him to come to earth when it was still a barren and hot planet. When the peacock angel landed on our world, he spread his peacock colors across the surface of the planet. His peacock colors included all the seven colors, which is why the seven colors are currently manifest within the lush landscape of the earth. It is because his colors became those of the earth's vegetation that the peacock angel is currently recognized in some schools as the green man the Lord of Nature, whose body is collectively all the forms of nature. The Yazidis claim that the place where the peacock angel originally landed before spreading his colors is Lelish. The sacred city of Lelish is now the location of the Yazidis' most holy shrine in northern Iraq. It is at Lelish that the Yazidis observe their most sacred ceremonies and rites, and it is where they retreat to when they are under attack. Currently at Lelish, there is a temple compound that includes the tombs of Sheikh Adi as well as six of the original archangels who were physically incarnate when Sheikh Adi was alive. The Yazidis say that the peacock angel currently lives principally in another realm or dimension, but that he continues to help humanity while overseeing the world. They call him the peacock king because he is recognized as the etheric ruler of the earth. The early Templars apparently learned of the peacock angel's role as the world king because they depicted their fisher king of legend with a hat or crown made of peacock feathers. The Yazidis claim that the peacock angel created the original path to God and that all others that exist today emerged out of that. You will currently find him in most of the world's religions as their connecting link. Besides manifesting as the Christian's Saint Michael, the Peacock Angel is also manifest as Al-Qadir, the green man of the Muslims. He is Saint George among us Templars. He is also King Melchizedek among the Jews. He is Metatron among the Kabbalists, and he is Quetzalcoatl among the Maya and the Toltecs. He is Enki among the ancient Sumerians, Skandamorgan among the Hindus, and he is Thoth or Hermes among the Greeks and Egyptians. Since the peacock angel is manifest in most religions, he is one of the most important links that unite them together. He is also their common origin. We in the International Order of Gnostic Templars are currently working to help reunite the world's religions by teaching the ancient mysteries of the peacock angel. There are many important secrets contained within these mysteries and, and we are teaching them in our seminars. Now, if you'd like to know more about us, our seminars and the Peacock Angel, please visit www.gnostictemplars.org. Also visit a website we have created that is dedicated exclusively to the Yazidis and the Peacock Angel. The address of this website is www.yazeditruth.org. And thank you.